Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create some fringe just using fabric. Uh, it's a great thing if you want a tribal look, a fun, it's something you can add to a bathing suit even that you have right now and make it a, one of those fun flirty ones that you're seeing all over the place right now. So I'm going to show you um, a really simple technique on cutting fringe. Uh, if you're not comfortable with just freehand cutting and keeping your measurements straight, you can always mark it. I suggest using a piece of soap or something that you know for sure will wash out or um, test it always. Make sure that it doesn't absorb the ink into the lycra. Otherwise, you could end up with a stained looking top. Um, so I have picked a bandeau bra that we're going to add fringe to. And so I'm going to show you how to create fringe like this for any top that you want. Um, you can also use it on the bottom of a t-shirt, same type of thing. Um, any fabric that looks something nice and will not run so it will match or coordinate with what you're doing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on a piece of scrap lycra. I prefer to fold it in half when I do it, but you'll want to make sure it doesn't move around if you do it that way. I'm going to show you with... Um, a marker, a Sharpie, which I would never recommend, just it'll be easier for you to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is remember if you do it on the fold, that center one, um, you have to make sure and keep the right distance and then um, cut it in half or have it half the distance so that center piece isn't extra thick. So I'll start from the inside and I'll go a quarter of an inch. Between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch is good. And then I'll move it out that same distance. You can eyeball it if you feel comfortable with that. And you just make lines, straight lines, so it's easy to do. And I'll show you real quick. So you just make some lines like that that are really easy, straight. Um, and if you, like I said, if you do it in soap, you can wash it out. I prefer to just cut freehand. Um, but that's me and I just go through and I'll put it together and I will hold up the piece as I do it and just cut straight. Now remember, you're going to need to sew it on. So you've got to leave yourself enough room and keep that even distance. If you're really uncomfortable cutting freehand, mark a line on the top and then mark all the parallel lines. And then you just go through. I prefer if they're not always exact, exact, a little bit off for me is good. Um, so it doesn't look too precise. But I'm really good at eyeballing it really close. And then you just keep going up to that same spot. Keep your lines nice and straight. And then you just continue that and then you end up with a piece like this. Now some of the tricks you'll want to really look at before you do it, I like to cut a little extra on each end, but you'll want to measure how big does that piece need to be, but remember you're going to need to stretch it how it would be on the girl. So measure that, the distance you need in length, how long do you want it? I always prefer to cut a little bit longer because once you sew it on and put it on the person, you can trim it up even. Um, that's really easy to do and you can just do that while it's on them or mark it and take it off them. But that way you can get a piece that's long enough and then actually goes down as far as you want the fringe to go. So it's really that easy to cut fringe from Lycra. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewear.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.